Hey guys, welcome back to Pixel Cherry Ninja's channel. I wanted to put together a little video that makes uh, the only things you want to do with your analog pocket very, very easy. So there, there's things that are done, and to be honest, the, the, the community have made stuff very, very easy. But some of the stuff, you can actually get it ready before you have your analog pocket. So if you've received like a shipment notification, because a lot of people are getting a quarter four units now, you can get every, everything ready. So literally, once you get to your analog pocket, you just bang the memory card in and it does everything. For this process, I recommend you've got two memory cards, uh, one for installing the firmware and one for installing the update all script, which is going to be the main memory card you're going to leave in your analog pocket. Now you can update the firmware with the update all script. Call me old fashioned, I'm going to show you the way I've done it, which is when I first got the device, I just wanted to update the firmware manually, which I did so myself. Uh, for that, you ju just need a separate card. And then I, I use the second card. If you're like me, you might have loads of SDs kicking about. If not, you can just do this with one SD card. It's not an issue. I'll tell you how. Uh, but the, 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 the main way I'd recommend is just, you know, do your firmware, put that on clean and do the rest of the stuff after. But the stuff we're going to cover is we're going to update uh, the firmware. Uh, we're going to update the cores and uh, we're going to install some pretty graphics so it looks nice. And what you're seeing here now is we're going to run a uh, dot pocket game so we can run our Game Boy games and, and use all the filters that analog um, uh, that are available when you're playing cartridges so some really really good stuff um do me a massive favor if you enjoy this kind of content and you like the channel then subscribe to the channel support the channel like and share anyway let's get into this uh we'll start off by by the first step let's download the firmware and put it on our analog pocket okay guys first things first let's sort of let's head over to analog.co uh, forward slash forward slash sport support forward slash pocket forward slash firmware all the links you need are going to be in the description of the video but let's go ahead and download that file um once the file has downloaded which is very very quick just find it find find the download first thing, one thing i always recommend and i do this in all my videos just give it a quick scan make sure it's all good okay no threats so that is clean now what you want to do with this is Let's go over to our micro SD card. So I formatted this already. The analog pocket supports um, support supports FAT32 and XFAT. This is only an eight gig memory card that I'm using for the demonstration of this video. So this is going to be FAT32. So what you're gonna do is just plop that onto the memory card and um, that's pretty much it now if you've got you if you've just received your analog pocket um or you're waiting for it if you've just received it now what you want to do is you want to power down your analog pocket you want to put the memory card in your analog pocket and that's it you just need to you just need to turn your analog unit on uh, make sure it's, it's you know it's fairly charged or maybe plug it into the wall as well but make sure you've got a decent bit of battery in there and that's it you will up, update your firmware to the latest version which is beta 1.1 1 .1, 1 .1 beta 6 released on uh, the 5th of november which is the latest one if you're waiting for your analog pocket then don't do this right now you know wait until uh you know you've got a delivery notification or fedex are bringing it around to your house and you know it's coming down later because there might be another upgrade uh, now you can do this via the update update all script but i'm old school i just like putting the firmware on there initially then i like doing everything else uh so anyway like that that's the that, that's the first step i would recommend and that's the first step that i took but like i said you can uh, get this ready if you've got a spare memory card beforehand now that we've uh, now that we've downloaded the firmware and it's safely on a memory card the next step we want to do is download an updater utility now there's two there's a pocket updater utility i haven't used this one but this one's available for mac linux and windows i've just gone for the windows release that's my personal choice out of the two so uh, that's the one this this video is going to be covering i'm really sorry i'm a windows guy so i can't really help you on linux uh, and mac uh, but it's, it's fairly straightforward i'll leave link I'll, I'll leave a link to this one anyway but the one we're going to be using is this one so let's head down here let's hit the pocket updater zip and uh, complete this download right now that we have uh, downloaded our pocket updater let's go and have a look at that in our downloads folder i've already scanned this so i know it's clean so just go ahead and extract that uh, using your favorite extraction tool 7-zip win right doesn't really matter once we've got that up and running we've got an executable now let's click that executable now what you can do is you can put that folder somewhere on your computer i've left it on my desktop and you can also put this executable on the root of your analog pocket so for example now let's go into settings um I've already, I've, we've already updated, if you've already updated the firmware using a separate micro SD card, um, 
and what you can do is you can just download pocket firmware you can turn that off you've got some options in there i'm going to turn that off if you haven't gotten it if you haven't got a spare memory card and you're doing this as a one-step thing or you want the firmware to be updated in the future then leave the option on me personally i want to do my firmware installs manually myself without any interference and i'll always do them um always do them manually so i've left that unchecked okay so that's saved now and that's that's pretty much it so now uh when we update it uh just one thing to point out um if you're going to put this on your analog pocket you want to just make sure uh, on the, uh, your analog pocket you go into uh, the tools option followed by the developer options followed by uh, usd uh, usb sd access make sure you enable that so when you when you connect your analog pocket with the micro sd inserted into a computer it recognizes it as as a hard drive so what you can do is if you've got the pocket.exe on there when you go to update pocket if you're doing it for your annual uh, analog pocket you can just do it on your current directory uh, and it will update it uh, if it's not uh, if you're not doing it if like for example i'm doing i'm doing it from uh this folder here downloads d and a pocket updater so i'm going to pick removable storage so the only removable storage i've got is the e drive which is the example i am using here so again if you haven't got your analog pocket yet and it's on route just prep it all up we're going to hit update and we're going to see lots of stuff happening now so we're going to see uh, i'll just leave this on we'll do it in real time it's the first time it's doing it so it might take a little bit of time but if you can read on the screen uh it's the it's done um adam gastel's uh uh, Adam Gisdale's uh, Pong, then his NES core, followed by the PC Engine core, you get a Pokemon Mini core. And what, we'll, what I'll do after is I'll show you where to put the ROM files. Uh, this will fetch the BIOS files for you and everything as well. It will fetch like the arcade, go uh, arcade cores. It doesn't fetch, however, the Hotego Patreon cores or any of the Hotego, even the public cores like Pang and uh, Ghost and Goblins. You've got to download uh, those mem uh, manually and do a little something. If you have an issues with that, then let me know. I'll do a separate tutorial for that because it did take me it wasn't straightforward um getting those on there uh but i did manage to get those on there but this is this is doing the update now uh i'm going to stop yapping i'm just going to forward through this bit now hey guys that is done now it took a few minutes but remember this is the first time we've done it once you run it again it's only going to fetch the new files and it'll be very very quick like a few seconds so just be a little bit patient with the first one let it run now our our micro sd card is 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 almost ready let's but let's put a few finishing touches uh let's get some roms on there and let's have a look at what it's actually created this is this is our memory card that we have uh, just created so what we can do if you want to do all the all the mra files you can just delete them it uses them for like the installation process and whatnot but they're, they're not really required so let's go ahead and delete them you can leave them on there if you want they don't, they don't really do any harm but just to keep it clean you've got some readmes on there as well you can probably get rid of them as well I, I've, I've just left them on there now now if we have a look at cores we're going to see all our cores uh, on here so remember each game like an arcade game is a core itself so uh, um, Congo Bongo is it Dig Dug Gallagher Cuba we've got quite a few on there even some newer ones like uh, Snow Brothers 2 really recommend you uh, play this game it's really really good but you know we've got our snes one on here so we've got we've got everything in there and that's 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 it like you're good to go so just uh for the uh for the purpose of this video now you want to get games on there so your rom sets or particular roms that you want to put on there for example now i've just got the Game Boy version of tetris on here and what we're going to do is once we go into assets this is where all of them go so if we just look for gb which is the original game boy you've got uh, game boy advanced game boy color but that's all your systems here in here i'll leave you to find out what they are i'm pretty sure you guys will know already your roms go into the common folder so we can just copy that and put that in here and we're good um so yeah that's that's pretty much it so once you want to once you've uh, once you've got your games on there you know whatever you want to put on there nez your neo geo games go in here now just to point out uh, i can't leave you a link for it or anything but the neo geo games that work are the dark soft pack uh, if you use a different one you may run into issues but um maybe have a look at, on archive.org or somewhere uh the dark soft pack is the neo geo games that work on there so don't you know try and put other ones on there or, um, or anything like that those are the ones with the best compatibility and all the other games are just absolutely fine you can put any snes any master system rom set on there you are you are good to go um 
Right, okay, so let's move on to uh, the next part, which, which also should be fun. Now in the introduction video where you saw me playing with my analog pocket and you've got a better kind of uh, gear for video, whatever it is down here, and it looks awesome. If you want uh, your course to look like this, um, you can just download this. Uh, a link to this will be in the description. So this is by Mega Man ZX Retro Analog Pocket Custom Platform Up. I really recommend this. It, it looks really nice and, and it looks really nice on the analog uh, pocket screen. Now, if we scroll down here, you've got different regions here. So you've got PAL EU. That's me, guys. That's what I'm using uh, because those are the boxes I'll recognize um, or those are the, the logos, at least I'll recognize compared to the USA ones or the Japanese ones. So I'm going to go ahead and download this and once okay that's that's downloaded really quickly so again just gonna scan it with microsoft defender uh no threats found that's clean okay so let's uh extract the files again okay right so doing this real time without any editing in there so which one is it is that that's our one okay cool so what we want to do now is whichever one you've downloaded once you've gone in here platforms oh okay so what we do is here we go we've got a platform folder in here and once we get down to the platforms folder all you need to do is literally just drag it copy it whatever you want to do just drag it in there and replace the files in the destination and that's going to replace like the boring text names with the nice graphics that um you've seen so we've done that part now we're going to look at one more thing i think and i think which i think is really important and we're going to look at that we'll go and and uh yeah the, i think yeah that will wrap it up for the video but yeah look at the last thing Okay, guys. Now the final thing. Again, you, you don't have to do this until you get your analog pocket. But if you wanna, if you wanna, if you wanna get ahead of the game, um, and you want, you want like uh, Game Boy and Game Boy Color games on there, um, it, it it runs dot pocket files via via GB Studio, and honestly, like they run really, really well. You can put them to sleep. You can use all the filters. So I strongly recommend you guys do that. So what you wanna do? The link to this will be in in the description. Like all the links you need will be in the description. So what we wanna do is we want a Game Boy game, and for the example for this, I've chosen Tetris, and there's a reason I've cho uh, chosen Tetris, and we'll go into that. So you can either click there and and look um navigate to it or you can just drag and drop it so here we go we've 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 uh, we've put tetris in there and it's found two patches now all the games aren't available i tried getting one for the game boy dmg street fighter which which is rubbish but i like it and it there wasn't a patch for that but all the popular games are there like uh zelda's there mario's there um most decent games are on there all the pokemon games are on there you're gonna find any anything good on it anything obscure you can't but i think there's a way you can request patches either on reddit or you can make patches yourselves if you know how to do that so tetris for example if the patch is made so we've got the normal vanilla version of tetris the one that we've tried to convert but then also it gives you the option to get a rom hack of tetris which has new quality of life features so when i done uh when i done zelda it gave me it gave me zelda's Link's awakening but it also gave me like the recolored version of it so what we're going to do apply and save and that's going to download both of them for us so here we go uh they, they have downloaded let's go show and find us so we've got our original game boy rom there which we can use on the game boy core or the game boy pocket versions now because we haven't actually put this in an analog pocket yet we don't have the folder if you put it in the analog pocket you would have a folder here so uh if you've got this folder on your memory card already you don't need to do this step uh, because it's already there but if you haven't then just create a create create a folder on there called gb studio and just create another one in here called saves and that's where all your saves go now your analog pocket will create this automatically once you put it in there but let's presume we haven't got it at the moment and we just want to prep everything up so now what you want to do is um on the root of uh, on the root of your sd card we've made a folder called gb studio we want to put the pocket files in there and then we can actually just run it on the analog pocket i'll put some prompts on the screen now uh so you can see how to access um that part uh the gb studio games on there but i think guys you know what i think that about kind of wraps it up uh once you've done all this you're good to go you get your analog pocket update the firmware in whichever manner you choose like i said i recommend doing it on a separate um card then hit the update all script Go follow the steps in here you know get all your roms on there everything bang when that fedex guy turns up with your analog pocket you know you can play some cartridges on it i played some cartridges on there i liked it but then 
there's some disadvantages to the cartridges for example like on the game boy advance when i'm playing uh, the cartridges i can't configure the controls on the cartridge but i can configure the controls in the core uh, but i can't use the graphical filters on the open fpga cores but i can use it on the cartridge so there's pros and cons about both uh, i'm really excited about this guys uh, i really hope you enjoyed this tutorial I, ho I hope it was clear i know i talk fast sometimes and i really hope part of it wasn't confusing uh, i know it may have been when i was going through the update all thing but in a nutshell the update all thing wherever you keep it just point it uh, to either a micro SD card or point it towards your analog pocket and just run from it there. Uh, if I've made any mistakes, uh, I apologize. Let me know in the comments below and I'll try and correct them in my own comments or pinned comments. Uh, but yeah, if you've enjoyed the video, thumbs up, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, let me know what kind of content you want to see for the analog pocket. I intend to do more when I get time. I've got a, I've got a spout of work coming up, so I might not be able to make videos for a few days now. Uh, but anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you around uh, until the next video. Pixel Cherry Ninja out.